do on a typical day? A typical day is... I was not expecting that question. Oh. When the Sam Adams team approached us about the Super Bowl collaboration, we were immediately excited. I was pumped. My boss comes in with two packs of beer, puts it down on my desk, and says, you're going to pick this up. The Super Bowl is a massive platform. It gives us a chance to showcase all three of our robots. Spot, which is our quadruped designed for industrial environments. Stretch, which is our newest robot, which moves boxes and warehouses. And Atlas, which is our humanoid research and development platform that we use to explore the art of the possible. My role um, revolves around anything involving choreographers, which is Boston Dynamics software that gives it personality. Our robots did learn some new behaviors. Spot, for example, learned how to pour a beer, also how to toss a can to your cousin. Atlas learned how to carry a keg on its head and learned two new dance moves, the, uh, the shoot dance and the cabbage patch. And Stretch actually demonstrated a real world application, moving a box, in this case a case of Sam Adams, and dump it out into a cooler. Working with the other teams was pretty fluid. I mean, everybody was going through a similar kind of like, is this gonna be right? Just like with any sort of form of art or form of software, because it's kind of a mix of both. There's a lot of room for things not to work. There were definitely some mishaps, like when we missed the cooler and beer exploded everywhere, and now there's beer stains on the warehouse floor. There's a lot of like fidgeting and trying to see what will work, a lot of doing things wrong and having to take a different approach. Oftentimes at Boston Dynamics, the answer to the question of can we make this happen, oftentimes is yes. Creating some of the behaviors uh, that you see in the commercial really help us demonstrate and improve a lot of the core concepts that are important to the robots. Um, when Spot isn't dancing, Spot performs auto walk missions, which basically means Spot can collect data points for you. Being able to work with actual product, which was the beer packs, was very helpful in understanding what different products look like with graphics on the box, as well as different textures. Um, having holes in the cardboard, as well as different weights and sizes. I expect that there will be a contingent of people out there that will not, again, believe that this is real. It's important to us that we don't fake things here. We don't use CGI. We believe the best way to make something appear real is for it to actually be real, and that's what we're focused on. It was a lot of fun being able to test iteratively and try out the behavior in multiple ways. This was incredibly fun to work on. It's a very exciting environment. There was Stretch involved, there was Atlas involved, there was Spot involved. We really started like working in the same space. So getting to see all of their pieces come together as well in a joint environment was really rewarding. I definitely hope I'll get to work on projects like this in the future, but this one is special.